Welcome to Indiana News Desk. I'm Joe Wren. Well, no, nothing says more about a politician than what his colleagues across the aisle think of him. And for former U.S. Senator Birch Bayh, the praise continues to pour in. Bayh died earlier this week at his home in Maryland. He was 91 years old. While he was known as a liberal Democrat, he gained the respect of many across the state and the nation. Former Congressman Lee Hamilton and U.S. Senator Birch Bayh's friendship spans nearly seven decades. They represented Hoosiers in Washington, D.C. at the same time and remained close confidants decades later. Hamilton says Bayh helped fundamentally change Indiana politics with his unique campaigning style. Uh, he would stand, for example, at the corner of the stoplight in Nashville, Indiana, when the trees were turning color and the cars would be backed up for miles and he'd go down the line and shake hands with the people in every car. He just never stopped campaigning. And many people got the hang of his unusual name with the help of a clever campaign song. They look him over, he's my kind of guy. His first name is Birch, his last name is By. I, when you win it by two votes, precinct. A lot of things, but I don't know how anything had a bigger impact than that did. Because whether you like it or not, the name Birch by, and it was a positive thing. You couldn't be angry. I wasn't saying bad things about anybody. And most importantly, the name got out there. It's Birch by, Birch by. And now that name carries quite the legacy. During his three terms in the U.S. Senate, Bayh accomplished more than some politicians do in their entire careers. He sponsored legislation creating Title IX, a law that prohibits gender discrimination. Every woman in the country owes him a debt of gratitude because by Title IX, he really did open up opportunities, especially for women profoundly impacting their lives. By also wrote the 25th and 26th Amendments, which created a policy for presidential succession and lowered the voting age to 18. I think he wrote more of the Constitution than any senator since James Madison. But above all, Hamilton says he'll remember By as a steadfast friend who had an unmatched ability to connect with people from all walks of life. Someone who never stopped campaigning, unless it was for ice cream. He loved Dairy Queens. He knew every Dairy Queen in the state of Indiana. We would drive through Osgood, Indiana at 10 o'clock at night. And he'd say, Lee, that place doesn't close till 1030. Let's stop for a Dairy Queen. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Barbara Brozier. And we spoke with Shonda Statton, coach of the IU women's softball team. She said she's where, she's a, where she is in part because of Bayh's work on Title IX and that America needs more people like Birch Bayh. Now, do I believe we have a long way to go? We need another senator by uh, to uh, continue the advancement and progress of equal pay and you know more opportunities of women coaching women. Absolutely, we still have a long way to go. Um, but I can be a Division One softball coach and mentor an old young woman because of Senator By and his legacy.